has eloquent testimony to this fact, as this year, 30 seminarians will be ordained to the diaconate. We are eyewitnesses to the most important ordination ever performed by Monsignor Lefebvre. The diaconate is the last of the orders received before ordination to the priesthood. Let us listen to Monsignor Lefebvre speaking to those who tomorrow will be priests. And the bishop will entrust you the Holy Gospels. Perhaps this is what most characterizes the order of the diaconate. In fact, St. Stephen, your model and guide, preached our Lord Jesus Christ. And that is why he was martyred. We are going to entrust to you the gospel of Jesus Christ. The gospel is a revolution brought into the world by our Lord Jesus Christ. A real revolution. A revolution of holiness, sanctification, and the bringing back to life of dead souls. That is the gospel of our Lord. That is what he came to do. That is what came to materialize. His work of love, of charity, of redemption, a work of glorifying his Father, of the glorification of all the souls in heaven. You are going to be associated with all that. You will have this responsibility as regards souls when you receive the gospel. You will continue the work of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he began here below. What a responsibility. Firstly, there is the traditional call of the ordinance, a call which on this occasion takes on a very solemn and serious form. The deacon is, in fact, irrevocably committed to the service of God. of the saints is being sung, the ordinance remain prostrate as a sign of humility, thus signifying that they are unworthy of the grace they are about to receive. position of hands constitutes the essence of the ordination to the diaconate. receives the stole, which he wears as a sign of the mission entrusted to him. He is then clothed with the dalmatic, a symbol of the holiness he must try to attain.
Finally, the deacon touches the book of Gospels and receives the power to preach the word of God.